have we got amazing reports coming in or what? This is absolutely fantastic at the moment. The reports are flowing in thick and fast. A lot of happy fishermen around. Amazing amounts of fish coming out of Burrenjuk. Lots and lots of yellow belly. Now, you can catch them on uh, yabby, shrimp, worms. It doesn't seem to matter. And they're around the trees as well at the moment. They're getting them trolling. Uh, we're getting people come in and saying, oh, you know, they got all theirs on this particular lure, that particular lure. I kid you not, you stand in here and listen to all the stories. 100 fishermen a day, 100 different lures, 100 different methods. They're just going crazy. It doesn't matter what you use. Some of the most success we've heard of is slow rolling the black three-inch scrubs. They seem to be working a treat. Uh, if you're going to take bait, take plenty because you'll go through it pretty quickly. Like I said, good yellow, but some of them are very very good size, really happy. They're spread around all over the lake. There is some pockets of big numbers of yellows, but most areas around the timber you'll pick them up, so just move around enough. Uh, haven't heard of too many cod getting caught because everybody's bait fishing for yellows or using very small lures. Uh, if you're going to do a bit of trolling, you might pick up the odd cod. Don't forget it is close season, you must release them. Murrumbidgee River, some very, very good reports coming out of there. A lot of cod out of the river, admittedly, but there is enough yellow belly down there to get a little bit excited about in some patches. Uh, you put in a little bit of time, you should do really well down there without too much trouble at all. Downstream from Wagga is pretty good, but I'm getting some good reports from upstream, getting some quite nice yellow belly up there as well. Blowering Dam, it is kicking along very well. Fishing off the bank with yabbies, Excellent, a lot of good yellow belly coming out of it. These are monster fish. I'm talking, you know, 50, 60, 62, 63 centimetre plus. Uh, even up to close to 70, and they're reasonably common at that 65 centimetre mark. So some good yellows. Trolling, casting, soft plastics, doesn't matter what you want to use. Uh, eight centimetre Nils Master Invincible seems to be a very, very common lure that a lot of people are using. Yakamito Vibes, another one, the Rapid Vibe absolutely fantastic and if you like that quite silent approach just use the a little Yakamito Viper uh, it's tremendous it's a soft plastic version of the Vibe absolute dynamite up there at the moment uh, we're getting good reports from uh, the Hume Weir but guess what the yellows haven't really fired down there at the moment getting some very good trout out of it this surprises us for this time of year but look what the heck, go down there and chase a few trout. You'll pick them up on Tazzies, you'll pick them up on the little slim minnows, the 60s and the 100s in the slim minnows. You'll do extremely well on that. So as you can see, we're getting good reports flowing in everywhere. Dartmouth's not bad. My whale's a bit in the quiet side, the occasional fish coming out of it. Probably not worth the drive down there at the moment. Won't be long, it'll fire up though, I can assure you. Tantangra, Yukon Bean, all firing really well. A lot of good trout off the bank with bait or trolling. Getting mixed reports from Wangler, who had fired up here a while back, now it seems to be a bit patchy, but put in a bit of time and you should get some good results there too. So it looks quite promising. This is the Complete Angler's Fishing Report for this week. We'll catch you next week.